Hello, my name is Riley Palmer, an occupational therapist at Beaumont Health. Here at Beaumont, we want to make sure that you have a successful recovery following spine surgery. So there are a few things you'll need to know. We hope you find this instructional video both helpful and informative. First, there are a few rules or precautions as you begin to move. The acronym BLT can assist you with remembering these. B stands for no bending. No bending forward or backwards at your spine. L stands for no lifting. No lifting more than five to 10 pounds until allowed by your surgeon. An example is a half gallon of milk is approximately eight pounds. This also applies to pushing and pulling. T stands for no twisting. No twisting of the spine. Keep your shoulders and hips aligned so that your trunk is moving as one unit. After neck surgery, avoid turning your head side to side, looking downward toward the floor, or looking up toward the ceiling, and avoid reaching or raising your arms over your head as much as possible. While lying on your back, bend your knees up, use your legs as leverage to log row toward your side while being careful to keep your head, shoulders, hips aligned to avoid twisting your spine. While bringing your legs over the edge of the bed, use your arms to raise your torso upright. When sitting, Back up until you feel the bed against both legs. Reach back for the bed as you sit. While lowering yourself to one side, raise your legs up onto the bed. Use your arms to help you roll onto your back. If sleeping on your back, place one or two pillows under your knees to relax your hip muscles. If sleeping on your side, Place one or two pillows between your knees. Be mindful to sit in chairs with back support and armrests whenever possible. Sit upright and keep your hips level with your knees. Scoot forward to the edge of the chair, being careful not to bend forward at your waist. Place your feet underneath you and use the armrests for support while pushing yourself up to stand using your legs. Things that you took for granted before, like getting into a car, can be a little bit tricky now. Let's see what steps you can use to make this easier. Have your caregiver open the car door as far as possible. Be sure the front seat is as far back as it will go. A large plastic bag over the seat can assist you maneuvering easier. Approach the car with your walker. Turn so your back is facing the seat. Back up until you feel the car seat behind both legs. Placing one hand on the car seat or door jam, and the other hand on the car dashboard. Bend your hips and knees to lower yourself down to the seat, while keeping your spine straight. Bring one leg into the car at a time, being careful to keep your hips and shoulders aligned to avoid twisting your spine. And as always, wear your seatbelt. Bring one leg out of the car at a time, being careful to keep your shoulders and hips aligned to avoid twisting your spine. Slide forward until both feet are firmly on the ground, then using the car seat and dashboard and your legs come to a standing position.
Some things that were simple for you before, like getting dressed, will require new techniques until you make a full recovery. New adaptive techniques will be necessary after having spine surgery, as you will now have restrictions that prevent you from bending. Remember your three spine precautions as you get dressed. The acronym BLT can assist you with remembering these. When taking off your socks, sit up in a chair or at the edge of a bed and cross your legs up to you. Keep a straight back and do not bend down to your feet or twist your spine. Once your leg is crossed, then remove your sock and repeat the same step for the other sock. When putting on your socks, sit up in a chair or at the edge of the bed and cross your legs up to you. Keep your back straight and do not bend down to your feet or twist your spine. Once your leg is crossed, then put your sock on and then repeat the same step for the other sock. When putting on your pants and or underwear, sit up in a chair or at the edge of the bed and cross your legs up to you. Keep your back straight and do not bend down to your feet or twist your spine. When getting dressed for the day, put underwear on, bringing them to thigh high, then do the same with your pants so that you are only standing one time versus two times. Once your leg is crossed, then feed your leg into the pants leg, then repeat the same step for the other leg. When standing, first get and maintain your balance. Then proceed to pull up your underwear and pants at the same time to conserve energy. We hope this video was helpful in your recovery after surgery. Beaumont physical and occupational therapists work as a team to provide the overall care in making you independent and achieving the goals of getting stronger and improving your mobility. Beaumont is here for you every step of the way and we are committed to excellence in medical treatment. If you have any questions or need more information about our services, please contact Beaumont Orthopedics. Thank you for choosing Beaumont. Thank you.